It wasn't Kanye West that put the White Lives Matter t-shirt on first, you did. You did by intentionally ignoring what Black Lives Matter would actually mean if it was applied. It would mean taking a look at the real problem that is happening, which is our culture. A celebration of perversity pitched to us as if it's diversity, it's not. It is not diversity that we are celebrating, it is perversity. You think that it's something to be proud of, it's not. So when you say something like, oh, Candace Owens, we don't want you in our culture. You don't understand black culture. I have to keep reminding you that I don't want to be a part of this culture. I want to go backward. Your idea of progressivism is clearly regressive. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting the subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They got Candace. Oh, my God. Candace Owens have been sacked. It was just a matter of time anyway, because she was, she was skating on thin ice for almost, what, six months now? They were just waiting for the time to give her the ax, you know? Now, I don't know if... She didn't sign a contract or if these guys here, Kanye. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. I don't know if these guys were tired of her rhetoric, you know. Now, I know O'Shea Duke Jackson is going to have this on his title. Candace <laughs> Owens got her Negro wake up call. He always do that. Funny guy over there. <laughs> But Candace Owens, um, she stood firm, all right? Ever since the Gaza and Israel war, she um she didn't pick a side, but she asked tough questions. And um they didn't they didn't like it. They didn't like the questions that she was asking. So much that there's this rabbi here, this rabbi, this guy here, he even threatened Candace's life or livelihood. And he says this. Hi, everybody. My understanding is, although I have not seen it myself, Candace Owens launched a broadside attack against me and my daughter, Rachelea, for calling her out on her anti-Semitism, Jew hatred and bigotry over the last year, at least. This is a woman who defended Kanye West when he said he loved Hitler. I want to tell you something. It is possible, although I'm not positive, but I think it's very possible that even David Duke, the former Grand Wizard of the Klan, never publicly praised Hitler. To praise Hitler, you have to be a man of such hatred. Kanye West, they say he's troubled. That's an excuse. He's a vile Jew hater. And Candace Owens is his bestie, best friend, defended him, said that he's not an anti-Semite, has always stuck by him. Then when October 7th came, when the whole world saw Jewish women shot in their vaginas, gang raped, their breasts sliced off with knives as Terrorists threw them to each other, playing ball with that bloody tissue. Candace Owens said she could not yet come to a moral decision on who was right and wrong about October 7th. She's a dyed-in-the-wool anti-Semite. I will see what she said. I will respond accordingly. But the real shame is that Ben Shapiro, who wears a yarmulke and runs the Daily Wire, created the Daily Wire, continues to employ her. He continues to profit off Jew hatred and anti-Semitism. And Ben, I'm telling you, the righteous God who watches all that we do will never, will never give you or the Daily Wire any blessing, any blessing from the money you're making off Candace Owens. It's really a shanda. It's shocking that you would be employing an anti-Semite. And you know, Ben Shapiro, you and I both know that if 
MSNBC or if CNN employed someone who said that they love Kanye West or employed a host who said they don't know who was right on October 7th, you would be calling them out, Ben Shapiro, on your show every day saying CNN has lost their marbles. And yet you're doing this. It's shocking and disappointing. Now, Candace Owens, I believe what really got her is that she will not disassociate with Kanye West. All right, you know, Kanye West said some inflammatory things also. When I wore the White Lives Matter t-shirt, the Jewish underground media mafia already started attacking me. The red are the executives that are Jewish at these companies. Black people don't have the same level of connections as Jewish people. Black people don't have the same connection as, as oil people. You know we don't know nobody that got a nice house. You know we don't know nobody with paper like that we could go to when we die. I'm pretty sure they asked her to denounce him, and she didn't do it, you know? Don't ask me why. I don't know why either. So, you know, I don't know. So she didn't do it. And that Nick Fuentes thing, you know, kind of, make things look a little funny for her. And well, uh, the, the real one, I believe that really got her was the French president Macron, that interview or that special that she did about the first lady over there. It was so good that I had to do my own version of it. Here is what they are saying, right? So again, I'm going to say allegedly, but this is what they have published. Their theory is that the first lady, Brigitte Macron, was actually born Jean-Michel. So Bridget is actually John Michael. John Michael lived as a man for 30 years, fathered five children, okay, and then transitioned at the age of 30 to become Brigitte. Okay, now I'm just going to show you this before and after photo, just right here. They actually used, as a part of their investigation, Chinese software. <laughs> so that kind of put her back on the spotlight. And, you know, that's a French president you're talking about. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know. But I'm still rocking with Candace Owens. She's my girl. You know, I'm still going to rock with her. And now that she's free, hopefully she'll team up with the Tucker Carlson network or stay on YouTube. You're going to get more followers. I believe you got what, over 3 million followers now, I believe. So, bully for you, girl. Keep it going. And if you need me to come on your show, you got my email, right? <laughs> anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> Look out now. <laughs> all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get off my lawn. <laughs>